Today our sizzling topic is can sodium bicarbonate prevent or cure cancer. So let's dig in and see how much of it is fact and how much is fiction. Hi, welcome to Killing Cancer Kindly. Today our sizzling topic is can sodium bicarbonate or any kind of alkaline media and agents treat, prevent or cure cancer. And there are a lot of opinions when you go to the social media and these opinions are usually at 180 degrees. So let's dig in and see how much of it is fact and how much is fiction. To start with, we have to look at the human body and what kind of medium the human body has. The human body is a non-acidic medium. So from the point start, we are dealing with an alkaline environment. The pH, which is a measure of acidity of any body, is between 7.35 and 7.45. A pH of 7 is neutral, which is the pH of water. Anything below 7 becomes acidic and anything above 7 becomes alkaline or basic. And the human body is in the alkaline range. The human mechanism of maintaining the acid-base balance is perfect. It is a homeostatic mechanism which keeps things as they are and there's a good reason for it. If the pH drops below 7.35 and tends to become acidic or goes above 7.45 and tends to become more alkaline than needed, the human being can have fatal consequences. Any change in this pH can lead to a swift death. So the question is, can making the human body pH more alkaline be beneficial or not? But before we answer this question, I'd like to ask why have we chosen soda bicarbonate or sodium bicarbonate or alkaline agents to think of treatment for cancer? And this all goes back to the micro environment of the cancer. Cancer cells produce a lot of chemicals which are acidic in nature. And in the whole alkaline ocean that the body is, cancer cells act like small acidic islands. Although the acid produced by the cancer cells does not affect the total pH or alkalinity of the human body, just like a small island producing acid would not turn the water of the ocean into an acidic environment, but it does have an impact on the growth of cancer. Hence, the concept that if we could create a more alkaline medium, we can treat, cure or prevent cancer. When it comes to treatment with any alkaline agent, including sodium bicarbonate, there is a big problem. If we ingest them, take them by mouth, they go to the stomach, which is an acidic environment and part of the body's acid-base balance system, the homeostatic mechanism. So any alkaline food which is taken is quickly neutralized and any alkalinity added to the body is very quickly covered and neutralized to bring the body pH back to its normal range of 7.35 to 7.45. So treatment with any kind of alkaline agent including sodium bicarbonate is not going to be effective. There is very little chance of any of that treatment reaching the cancer cells. If you do an experiment in the laboratory and take the cancer cells out of the body onto a petri dish and pour alkaline chemicals on it, yes, it would discourage the growth and might even kill the cells. But inside the human body, they're tucked away far into the depths of the body and the chances of alkaline agents reaching them is very little. If we forcefully try to give more and more alkaline agents like sodium bicarbonate to the human body, the consequences could be fatal. The cancer would die, but the human body would die before the cancer does. So in conclusion, sodium bicarbonate does not have any effective role in preventing, treating or curing cancer. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for visiting Killing Cancer Kindly. For more information, please subscribe, press the bell icon and share it with all your friends and family so we can together save more lives by preventing, diagnosing, treating and curing cancer. Till next time, goodbye.